All right, so today we'll be taking a look at SetApp, uh, a really cool app store. It's kind of like the Netflix for Mac apps. You can get a seven day free trial to start off with as well. There's a link down below to check that out. All right, so there's about 240 plus apps in this store and you get access to all of them as long as you're subscribed. Uh, we'll talk about is it worth it, my thoughts and so on and so forth. Uh, for one, these are the apps I downloaded right now on, on on my Mac, and they're also very well organized on your Mac because the apps folder creates another folder for just these apps. They're easy to install. You could uninstall them as well. And let's just take a look at some of the other apps here. And you have your favorites. I don't have any favorites yet, but there's Explorer tab here, and it gives you all these different things here. You could search by optimization apps, work apps, create, develop, um, app guides. There's even guides in here too. That's pretty cool. For example, Money Ways is one I downloaded. It's basically an accounting thing, keep access or a money managing app too, I guess. Put all my credit cards in our bank accounts, all that stuff, stocks and everything. So that's a pretty cool app. Anyways, I'm not getting too far into each app, but some things that are really cool is I got the Clean My Mac app, which is this one here, which I've had. I had a subscription to this on my old computer. I just recently got a new computer and I just got this one. So it comes with it, which is great. And this is by Mac Paw, which by the way, makes the setup as well. This is an awesome app for your Mac. I have other videos about this. Basically, it cleans up all the files and stuff that you haven't been using, cache files, you can search for um, duplicate files. You can search for all your disk images that you really don't need. You can just trash those, finds mail attachments, so on and so forth, optimization, maintenance, uh, malware remover, all kind of really cool stuff. Like I said, check out my other video about this app. I love this app and it speeds up your Mac and everything. You know, you could, I deleted, you know, I don't know, about 20 some gigs of stuff that wasn't needed on my Mac and it just accumulates over time, the cache files and stuff like that. But anyways, that's a really cool app that I've been using. Um, another real cool one is it comes with a VPN, which I have a subscription to a VPN, but since I've got this, we have um, this one really here, Clear VPN, which is also by MacPaw, by the way. And it's just really quick VPN, you install it, bam, it works really cool. In fact, I'm using it right now. And there's even things for streaming uh, your Netflix accounts and stuff on different or Amazon Prime here, I guess in this case. I haven't tried that out, um, but you can change to different countries and stuff like that, just like many other VPNs. But yeah, so that is really cool. That's pretty cool. And then I got all these other apps. I haven't, I mean, there's so many apps in here. Um, this is the ones I've got so far. There's some really cool, there's the bartender map or app, which puts all your stuff up, all your menu items up here in this little one little space, which is really cool. And then download anything from YouTube and other video sites. Um, the cool thing is, is I downloaded a YouTube video and when I opened them at QuickTime, it even gave me the chapter markers so I could speed ahead if, if the video has chapter markers in it. So that was pretty cool. Capture GIFs from your screen. Uh, remove objects and photos. Another cool thing there, batch renamer. Those always come in handy when you have like all those image files or something that just like image underscore zero zero five seven. You know, you can take a bunch of those, throw them in there, you know, label whatever your whatever it is that you want to label it. Uh, the Money Wiz app, like I said, is really cool. Compress and resize images always comes in handy. Uh, extracts text from visuals. This app is super cool. Basically, um, say you're watching a webinar or something or a YouTube video and like they store a screenshot up of like a text thing, like, you know, steps one, two, three, four, or whatever, it could be anything. But you could actually, just like a screenshot, normally I would take a screen screenshot of that and then have that, but you can actually take a screenshot of the, and it takes all the text from that screenshot and you can put it into a file and put it into a text editor, PDF form, Google Docs, whatever you want. And it's, it's pretty cool. 
So for example, let's say, I don't have it open right now, but you can just highlight all this text right here. I mean, in this case, I could just copy it obviously, but if it was a webinar or something, it was a picture or a slide or whatever, you just take all this information here and bam, you have it all in a text file, which is really super cool. Um, other, like I said, there's so many apps in here. I'm not gonna go through every single one. I'm just going over the ones that I like and I've downloaded so far. Uh, Instagram app here for grids, uh, convert audio images and videos. This is obviously a really cool app for converting your images and audios to different formats and stuff like that. Uh, generator captions for videos, used instant text actions. Um, I got a copy and paste app. There's a bunch of those in there. Um, so improve photos like a pro. This one's pretty cool here. I haven't really messed with it too much but you can do a lot of really cool stuff with your photos and you know it has some ai stuff in there too i believe maybe it wasn't this one yeah enhanced photos with ai tools so really really cool stuff and that's just the ones some of the ones i downloaded there's literally hundreds in here so and like they're updating new ones all the time so here's my thoughts i mean for me i totally think it's worth it because i was using the, the clean my mac software i was using a vpn i still have my other vpn um a good copy and paste thing uh the money management app here um they're gonna have a money Wiz 2023 i looked at their website they have one for self-employment coming out as well now i don't know if it's going to be here in the set app i'm hoping that it is because i use another thing quickbooks um that's another subscription service so basically you know i'm using all these different subscription services but if i could get different apps or you know great apps that work just as well um then there's no need for you know to have a, all those different subscriptions i just have one subscription to this and you can do an annual subscription and there's different packages and uh actually let's look at that real quick i mean this stuff's kind of liable to change so Let's go to their website. So they have one that starts at nine ninety nine at, at the time of making this video. Like I said, you have uh, I haven't tried this one. This one looks pretty cool. Join meetings in one click. I guess it puts it in your menu bar or something like that. There's a music making app. Uh, there's just so many in here. Convert files. I have this one too. This is what I was talking about. Convert audio, videos, images and seconds. Um, plan projects custom menu bar um, and then the app store of course set up and where's the other uh, pricing so right now there's a seven day trial for all of these and they have a Mac plus iOS one which is a couple dollars more and you get for one Mac and four OS devices for the different apps that are in, that are included you know, not all these apps are iOS apps either, but then there's a power use one for four Macs, four iOS devices, still relative and inexpensive. Um, I'm going to do this one here, actually. I'm going to upgrade to this, the iOS one. But my thought is this. I, I'm just going to sign up for a whole year, and within that year period, um, I'm going to decide what apps I want to use, what apps I don't want to use. Because sometimes you buy an app, and then you might find a better one, and then... In this case, I could just delete the old one, certain features on different apps that you like, you know. So that's my thoughts. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do some more reviews on different apps and stuff like that. So check out my other videos. I'm going to have them up, up by the time you're watching this as well. Um, Compress and resize images. I talked about that one. Uh, extract, extract. Yeah, that's a really awesome one, like I said. Um, there's so many other ones on here as well. And I got a, well, just check, just check it out. Uh, that's all I could say. Uh, you got the Mac Pawn apps on here as well, like the Gemini, Find and Remove Duplicates. Um, yeah, it just there's just too many apps to go into. But like I said, there's chances are, you know, there's going to be a lot that you're going to be interested in. Um, there's another download video one, write and publish from one app. There's just so many things here. Um, yeah, I'm going to have a fun time checking these out. Uh, so anyways, that is all for now. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below. 
check out my other videos. I have hundreds of other videos on my back catalog here on my channel. Mostly music production stuff and music making stuff. But I'll be doing a lot of reviews of these apps as well. These little things here. So anyways, that is all for now. I will talk to you soon.